Hey guys, I just wanted to do a unboxing video from Peachy Olive Glitters um, and show you how I repackage them into jars for my collection. Um, sorry, it's not, it's not organized right now, it's okay. Um, and show you what I do with the extra glitter. So I have a piece of newspaper down here and then I have my four ounce jars from Uline and I have tons of beautiful Peachy Olive Glitters. And then I have a couple that I did just for time's sake. I did some without you guys, sorry. Um, but it would take too long if we did them all uh, at one time. So, we're on one video. So I'll just show you the colors, just so you can see them all. This is Prometheus. And then um, Tybee Island, really pretty blue. Um, a great fall color, this is the Swamp. Sunny D. So hard to get these to focus on camera. Halos. I don't know if you can tell a theme, but I got mainly oranges and reds this time. Um, Orange Julius. Redeemed. Freemason. Starburst. Sangria. This one I'm really excited about. This is a chunky red, um, like mixed size mix. <laughs> and it's super beautiful. Anyways, it's called Netflix and Chill. So those are the ones that I've already done. And then I have several over here. So I have my jar and I have her package. So I always take off this um, sticker or this label. Sometimes they start to tear. Most of the time they don't. Well, that one started to tear a little bit. So whenever it starts to like rip, I move to the other corner, right? Because I don't want to keep the rip. Oh, so that, that's, that's ripping too. So then I move to another one. There's a way to get this off in one piece and positive. So some of them come off really easy and some of them just require a little more love like that one did. But it will still work just fine for our purposes. Okay, I just move that out. So you could write the name of the color in there. I don't because she puts the name on there. So I peel that off too and I put it on the top. So when it's done, it looks her label name. Okay, then I open it. And then I'm gonna open just a corner of this bag, not the whole thing, so just the corner. And if I open too much, I close it, but that's perfect. And then I'm gonna push here so that it makes a nice little spout. And that's it. Okay, so this color is super pretty. It's like a champagne-ish color, like a pale peach, maybe. So if it were to, oh my gosh, you cannot see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm used to going live where you guys tell me that I'm messing up. But on these, I have to figure it out myself. <clears throat> okay. So I want to get every last drop out of this bag, right? Realistically, I'm probably not going to get it all in this little container. So when I'm about done, I want to just do this to the bag. And I don't know if you can see, good, you can see in the video that there's glitter falling. I want to get as much as I can. Perfect. Get my trash can. This is on the other side of the table. Okay, so you can see there's glitter around it, but some of that did go in the container. That's why I do it right above it. Um, fill it on this. This is fuzzy navel, by the way, the color. But anyways, when I am done with all of these glitters getting on their containers, I'm gonna take this piece of newspaper right here and I'm gonna pour it in here. And this is my leftover glitter mix. Let me mix it up a little more. I just put some in there. Anyways, it turns into this really cool purpley color. Um, and I use it for my magnets. So I just wait till it gets kind of full and I use it as I go. And if I don't like it, uh, it was glitter that was going to be wasted anyways, right? Okay, so this is Sailor's Delight. And same thing, we just do that over and over again. I won't bore you with... Um, 
I won't take the time to do all of these on video because that would take a long time for you guys to sit and watch. But I'll do this one and then I will show you the last of the colors that you didn't get to see put up. This label really does not want to come off. So I have tons of different glitter jar sizes, but these are my favorite. These four ounce jars, I've experimented with like everything. I have the, the pore spout ones. Um, I have spice jars. These are spice jars, like with the two sided lids. So those are the little dots and then the big opening. I've got these square ones. I have I can't remember if these are six ounce or four ounce, um, six ounce or eight ounce, but they're the same brand as these. So the ones that I'm actually using are four ounces. These are just too big. Um, this is two ounces of glitter going into a four ounce container and look, it fills it up. So I, I don't ever need a container this big and I'm trying, cause I have so much glitter. I'm just trying to um, maximize space. So like I don't need a container this big for this much glitter, right? So I used to want to buy glitter in big quantities like these ones because I use it so much um, and I custom mix it for orders and for um, glitters for my Etsy site uh, so I wanted like big quantities now I want variety right I want all the glitters that are out there so um, I buy them in smaller amounts so that I can buy more will show you the rest of the colors. So this is Godric and Rufio. And then, um, this is one of the or one of the mailers that her package came in, which I love. Uh, my daughter's nursery is flamingo themed, so I love flamingos. I'm from Florida, um, so flamingos are kind of my thing. I'll show you these really pretty colors and then I will let you go. Okay. So this is Phantom and it's kind of a white with a blue hint. It's very pretty. Snow Confetti, another white, kind of reflects um, yellowy. Let's see, basic white girl. It's very pretty. It's different sizes, so it's got some chunkies. Let's do all the whites at once. I don't know if I'm gonna say this right, but this one is Parabatai, Parabatai. I can't pronounce that. Um, this one's Chandelier. <laughs> this one is Hashtag, Oh My God. Oh My God. Okay, and then we have Dream House, that's pretty. I really like that one, okay. And Oscar, I like that one too. So anyways, that's it. I hope that um, this helped somebody figure out how to store glitter, how to get it out of the bags. I don't know, see some beautiful peachy olive glitter colors. I can't remember if I said that. These are all from Peachy Olive Glitters, which is one of my favorite companies. Um, I have tons of glitter from her. I have like a whole shelf. Uh, let's see, where in here, I think, yeah, all of the, no, all of these are peachy olive, so almost, oh, I don't know if you can see that, but, anyways, I hope this helps somebody, and I will see you guys soon, because I want to show you in my next video how I make these beautiful glittery blinks for badge holders. Um, I don't have a finished one in front of me, but when they're done, it has a name on it. And then I glue it on top of a badge reel. And so it is like this. So it's a customized, it's either monogrammed or it has a name. 
They are so pretty and they're so fun to make. Uh, I really, really like making these and playing with different glitter colors and different shapes uh, and they're pretty easy. So I will talk to you guys about that next time and let me know if you have questions. All right, take care.